What's going on, fellas? It's your boy, Coach Rob619. Uh, back with a quick video. Splits You Must Get Part 2. And I've been meaning to do this for a while. A lot of you guys have been hitting me up, you know, sending me PMs, you know, asking me to do reviews and asking me about, you know, places you can get splits and decants from. And, um, you know, I haven't been able to get back to a lot of you guys. You know, I apologize for that. I've been extremely busy lately. As you guys know, I do coach, you know, high school football. Some of you that have been following me for a while, you guys know that. And I got a new coaching staff, so I'm trying to, you know, implement, you know, my schemes and show them my offense and trying to figure out what we're going to do on defense and just pretty much show them how I want things ran. And, you know, I've been extremely busy leaving my house probably 6 in the morning, getting home around 8.30 at night. Um, I've been reading a lot lately also. So by the time I finish that, once I get home, I take a shower and I read for about an hour at night. And after that, I just crash out. I'm exhausted. So I really have no time to do the reviews I want to do. But I've been accumulating samples for a while. So I'm going to hit you guys with my um, Is It Bottle Worthy series. I'm probably going to shoot about 10 videos right now. So I'm trying to just, while well, I got a little bit of time on my hands in case something come up. But while I got a little bit of time on my hands, I'm going to shoot probably a ton of videos. So you probably see me in this red shirt for about 15 videos. And probably what I'll do, I'll try to put them out every week um just keep you guys some keep my consistency flowing and um give you guys something but anyway for today's video as you see in the title splits you must get part two now a lot of you guys seen my video i did um part one i had i mentioned slurpees in there what he's still doing splits great guy uh to pick up some stuff from um a lot of you wanted uh, still want you know some decants and samples of um aventus and obviously dark man decants he's no longer doing um splits anymore so a lot of you guys send me PMs asking me who is the other guys to go to, who do I trust, um, and these guys I just recently did transactions with, um, A1 transactions, guys you can definitely trust. One guy, um, the first guy I mentioned, he pretty much told me I was one of the first reviewers that he's seen, and um, you know I kind of sparked his interest in getting into this game and taking his hobby to the next level. And this good, this dude is pretty much past me. I mean, as far as what he has, as far as what he has in his collection, things he smelled, he's doing splits consistently. I mean, this guy has put his nose on everything, and um, he he mentioned this one to me. Basically, him knowing um, you know the fragrances that I like in my style, citrus, aquatic type fragrances here in my climate. And um, his name is John Stagg. And what I'll do with these guys I mentioned, I'll put a link to the, either their Facebook page or their YouTube page or some type of link to something that you can get in touch with these guys. And <clears throat> he hit me on my Facebook page. And you guys should know my Facebook page by now. If you don't, um, the link is always in the video. Go by there, like it. And um, that's just me. Keep you guys updated with what I'm doing, what I'm wearing. Um, any conversation you guys would like to have with me or just start. It's free, open to the public, to everybody, you know. And um, anyway, the first split you must get from my boy John Stagg, great guy. Go to his um, Facebook page. He's consistently doing splits, some good juice stuff you really probably haven't heard of, and he has everything you heard of also. But anyway, this is what it looks like, and this is from Imaginary Authors, house that I'm sure most of you have never heard of. I didn't hear of them. And it's called Falling in the Sea. And five mil sample. I can't remember how much I paid for this. I had this probably about a two two months now, so I forget. But it was probably 12, 15 bucks. I mean, or maybe less than that. I don't even remember. But great aquatic scent. Um, smells extremely good. It kind of reminded me though of um for you guys, I did a review a while back, uh Brooks Brothers uh New York Gentleman. It kind of reminds me of that. It has a little lime note in there that um is very reminiscent of that fragrance but this was done way better and um <clears throat> i might put the link to where you can get more information about this fragrance i think for like a 100 ml bottle it's like 80 bucks it's not it's not too expensive definitely needs quality but you know designer price great one falling in this falling in the sea by imaginary authors you have to check this out especially for summertime this is perfect for summertime my boy john stag um the next guy that you guys should look look into. Um, his name is uh, he goes by Jay, and like I said, um, I'll have description of him in the links. And he hit me up on my Facebook page. He's he's pretty frequent on my Facebook page, and he, and that's where he told me about it. He just let me know he was doing a split. And um, <clears throat> what I got was I'm a watch seal man. He got me a 10 mil. Um, I can't remember the price. He gave me a good deal on it though, but um, I can't remember what the price was. And this is how he wraps it up. 
he puts the tape on it, you know, for, you know, when it's shipping, packaging, you don't spill any. But uh, my boy Jay, and it seems like he always changes his name. When I see him on uh, Mark's group, his name is like something different than it is on my group. So I don't know, but I'll find out what, what uh, his YouTube handle is, and I'll definitely give you his information. So Jay, if you're out there, just leave a comment, let people know who you are. He doesn't do splits, to my knowledge, as frequent as um, John Stagg does, but um, he does them every now and then, so he's a good person to stay in contact with. And, um... You know, I got my Amois still, man. And I'll probably do a, uh, is it bottle worthy uh, video on this to let you guys know. I know you guys are curious about what this smells like. And I'll definitely let you guys know about that. And last but not least is my um, my boy Freddie Photo out there. And um, he's another one. He does uh, splits every now and then. And um, he also sells, he always selling a bottle too for some reason. So it seems like he's always shaving his collection. And um, you can definitely trust him. And from him, I got... I'm a wise lyric man. I've been hearing a lot about you know about this one, so I had to you know put my nose on it. Um, this is a 10 mils, and um, it's cool, you know it. With these man, I, I'll give you my opinion when I do the review. But right now I'm just focusing on the splitters, you know, John Stag, Freddie Photo, and Jay. And once again, this is a, from Freddie Photo lyric man. He puts a little nice sticker on it and everything. So uh, as you guys can see that, 10 mil of that. And another tip for you guys. I, I got a couple PMs from um, some people, and they're saying, hey, Rob, you know, I'm looking to get into niche. I want to buy a few bottles. Um, where can I get a cheap deal at? Now, and I told one guy, he just sent me something recently, and um, tell you guys the same thing I told him, buy used. When it comes to niche fragrances, you don't have to buy a brand new. You don't have to take the plastic off of it. You can get a good deal. Plenty of people sell their used bottles. They may use 20 mils of it, and they sell them off, or these people that do these splits that I'm mentioning, they also offer the bottle. So if it's a 100 ml bottle and you buy, say, 40 to 50 ml of it, they may throw in a bottle with that. So you still get the juice. It's the same juice. The only difference is you didn't peel off the plastic, but you still got the quality, you know, um, fragrance for a cheaper price. And along with my um, Amawaz Lyric, I picked up Montal's uh, Blue Amber from them. And as you can see, I got the box. Comes with everything I would have got if I would have went to men or went to Lucky Sand. I got the box. I got the little pouch to come in. And I got, you know, got the bottle. So got my niche bottle. I only paid probably 60 bucks for this. I might I might have, yeah, I think I paid 60 or less. I can't remember. He'd know better than me. But I think he only charged me 60 bucks and it was 50 mils left. So I got me a 1.7 of a niche. And this and this this is a projection. I mean all Montal is a projection beast, but this is longevity and projection beast. Pay sixty dollars for for fifty mils, or I think it was fifty mils in there, forty mils, forty five mils, something like that. But anyway, I got a good deal. I paid the same price for one point seven for a designer is what I would have paid, and I got me a niche fragrance. So, guys, start looking into that. You know, you can go to the mall and buy your uh, designer stuff, you know, and peel the plastic. But when it comes to these niche, and you really can't really afford them like that, or you want them but you don't want to spend that that money, look into used bottles, and um, that's pretty much it. So, hey, guys, John Stagg, my boy Jay, Freddy Photo, those are the guys who I'm dealing with right now. Those are the guys who are trusted. Um, they don't screw people over. They're very professional. A1 transactions. That's who I recommend. So after you watch this video, go look into those guys. Go down below, click those links, and tell them Coach Rob sent you. They may give you a discount. I don't know. But depending on what the ladies say, determines what I spray. Peace.